What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I got a Google Knowledge Graph profile in less than 30 days with a very straightforward, simple four-step technique. My Google Knowledge Graph profile looks like this. You see that there is a cool little snippet up at the top with my name and maybe my designation. And on the right-hand side, there's a bunch more information about me. This is super high quality, extremely simple. I did it all for less than $150. In this video, I'm gonna give you the whole roadmap. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stay tuned, and I'll see you in a minute. First things first, why Google Knowledge Graph profiles? What the hell are they? Why do they even matter? Well, for me, it's less of a direct lead generation source, and it's more of just a, wow, this guy really knows this stuff sort of deal. Like I sell very high ticket systems on, um, you know, like automations and AI and that sort of thing. And they're usually worth at least $10,000. And what I find is when somebody's ready to make a purchasing decision and their mouse is over the sign proposal button and they're just like, hum, hum, and they just need that little extra push to make them go through the line. Uh, what they'll usually do is they'll do some type of like Google or maybe like mini background check. And the second that they see a Google Knowledge Graph profile, like it's authoritative enough and, and it's so like high quality and just makes me look like I know my shit so much. Uh, they don't really have any choice but to sign up. I mean, there are tons of rich and famous and powerful people that probably make like a million times what I make realistically that still aren't like on Google. They don't even have their own new Google Knowledge Graph profile. And so by having one, you are basically instantly associated with like, uh, you know, high quality service provider at minimum and like celebrities and shit like that at maximum. So what I've done here is I've actually compiled a uh, Notion document with everything that I did in order to get my Google Knowledge Profile in about a month. I'll share this with you in the video description. Super simple, extremely self-explanatory. Um, and yeah, why don't we just dive into it and uh, see where we land. So the first and probably the most important step is you need to sign up for every single social media profile you can. And when I say every major social media profile, I mean the Instagrams, the TikToks, the LinkedIn's, the Facebooks. I'm pretty sure I have a fucking MySpace profile. So like you just need to make sure that you're on as many of these as humanly possible. And the main reason why isn't because you're gonna become famous on Facebook or something like that. And uh, if you did, I definitely would not wanna be friends with you. I mean, all people do on there are post shitty pictures of their dogs. Um, the reason why you want to be on Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram and all that stuff is because they are essentially like additional methods of verification that Google and other big companies use just to like uh, give you like that badge of authenticity, that you are who you say that you are, essentially. If they see a first name and a last name on five or six different profiles, they're a lot more likely to be like, okay, this person is, is worthy of a Google Knowledge Graph profile. And more importantly, like, oh, this is like a real human being, right? I'm not like a, a bot or something like that attempting to farm traffic. So make sure that you're signed up for every social media profile, even if you hate them, like I hate Instagram and what it's done to people, uh, I still got a profile though. The next step is super important. You need to set up a personal website and you need to add a bio. So this is my personal website here. I manage it using a platform called Ghost. They skewer me on pricing. I pay like 500 bucks a year for this shit. Totally not worth it. Not that I don't think Ghost is a great company, but like it's just not worth to pay 50 or $500 a year just for a Google Knowledge Graph profile uh, helper like this website. If I were you, I would go on WordPress, get myself a managed instance for between five to $10 a month, and then all you need to do is just like create a biography page or an about page that looks something like this. This is mine. So I have about Nick Sarayev. Make sure the first and the last name are you know, the terms you wanna rank for. Um, and then this is what I recommend everybody do. Um, all my friends that have tried the same approach. I recommend you have a section that's who is Nick Sarayev. And then in the first paragraph, write like the most you know, hate-fueled, well, maybe not hate-fueled, write like the most high and haughty journalist that you possibly can. Make sure it just sounds like super authoritative. It's the same way that like somebody would write about Elon Musk or something like that if they're writing his bio. So for me, Nick Sarayev is a writer and entrepreneur who pivoted from a path in medicine to forge a series of successful digital media businesses. He's been featured in this big dick magazine, this big dick magazine, and is an Amazon Kindle bestseller, right? Like that's just, that's just super strokey. It's... <laughs> you know, as show off as humanly possible. This might seem a little cringe to you, but it's necessary because Google is gonna pattern match that. You know, they have large language models that are reading through everybody's website, making these determinations, right? And they're gonna pattern match that with somebody that makes a lot of money uh, and somebody that's like quite famous and quite well known. And so you wanna front load as much social proof as humanly possible into this first little snippet of your bio. Uh, and then, you know, with, for the rest of it, just write about like what you do, the companies that you own and that sort of thing, uh, and you'll be fine. So. 
yeah, like, I mean, I was actually featured in these magazines, so I'm sort of given like a leg up here, uh, but you don't need to be featured in magazines in order to make it. Uh, like I paid for this Bloomberg submission, paid a few hundred bucks, Amazon Kindle, that's sort of 50-50. Like I wrote a 40 page book like five years ago and then I just called up all my friends, I was like, yo, buy this book right now. So like, whatever you wanna do to get the social proof that you need, like do it, but don't worry too much about it, I guess is my point. The other important part is uh, you're going to wanna to have uh, like what's called a, a, a schema snippet. And so if I view the source here, uh, of the code on the page, and then I go down to number two. Uh, this is what a, a schema snippet looks like. Basically, it's like a piece of code on your website that includes a bunch of identifying information about you, and then it tells Google how to connect you to other websites on the web that may be mentioning you by name. And so this is what mine looks like. Feel free to copy and paste this if you want. Maybe I'll, I'll add this in the description. Uh, has my name, has my email, has my birth date. So if you want to send me a present in 351 days, please do. Uh, you know, has my brand all that stuff. And then the most important thing is it has a same as object. And the same as object is an array, which contains a list of other websites where I'm named, basically, by name. Um, and what you wanna do here is keep this to about 10 to 15. I think that's best practice right now. And then um, add as many high domain authority links as you possibly can in here. And make sure to add all the social media profiles that we talked about earlier. So my Twitter's up here, my Facebook's up here, my LinkedIn's up here, all that shit. Um, if you are doing a WordPress website like I recommended, just download like a schema plugin, way simpler and easier than trying to finagle all this code on your own. Uh, there are dozens and they're all free. So that's what I would recommend. Okay, so uh, by this point you now have one, a website set up with a bio, a schema snippet, and you know maybe you're on WordPress or some shit like that. And two, you have every social media profile known to mankind, including MySpace. The next thing you need to do is you need to sign up for what I call free backlinks. Now let me explain. Free backlinks are links that you do not have to pay for. Like when I bought my Bloomberg link, I paid several hundred dollars. If you wanna get listed under a Google Knowledge Graph, you have to get a lot of links. And then links are expensive, so it's a lot of links times a lot of money equals you're gonna have a bad time. So there's a workaround. You don't actually need to spend money on all these links, um, or at least a lot of the high quality ones. You can find these stealth sort of free backlinks that are still do follows that all really require, uh, all they really require is just like a simple application process where you just submit your name and maybe a brief bio on your website. Uh, and then, you know, a couple weeks later they'll rank you. I compiled this massive list with the help of a guy called Connor Scholler on Twitter. He basically posts every week or two with like one of the stealth backlinks uh, on here. Uh, and it's just how I've like slowly built up my repertoire over time. Note that this isn't perfect, not all of them are gonna be do follows, and it doesn't even matter if they're a do follow or not. I think the um, algorithm to determine whether or not you are placeable on the Google Knowledge Graph is quite different from like where you rank on Google for a website. So just make sure you, like, you go through this massive list here of, I don't know, if I were to guess, probably like 50, 60, 70 maybe, 80 websites, um, maybe more, I don't know, and then uh, create profiles on all of them. And you know, what I did here is I just paid a VA like $10 an hour and I had her do it over the course of like a day or two. So very simple, very straightforward. If you don't have the money or if, you know, you just want to experience the PR process for yourself, the shitty PR process, I should say, for yourself, then feel free to just go through this list. This is going to be in the description. Uh, but essentially, yeah, you're just going to need like a first name, last name, maybe some websites, maybe a couple of things that you've done, and then uh, like a bio. And then they'll almost always auto-approve you within a week or two and then you'll find yourself on Google. Like if you were to Google me, for instance, just type Nick Sarayev and then scroll way the hell down, you'll see that those are actually like the first, the first links that I had. Um, they were all these just like directories. I mean, I, I got a lot now because, you know, I've been featured all over the place and this is sort of like a, like a snowball effect where once you get featured a little bit, you get featured more and more often, but like codenewbie.org, that's 100% like one of those backlinks. Um, provenexpert.com, 100% one of those backlinks, right? All of these are, or the vast majority of these are just like, you know, simple little no follows um, from this, this list uh, and a couple of them are do follows, which is nice. So yeah, go through this on your own time. Um, I would recommend just doing this as early as possible. Like getting a Google Knowledge Graph profile is really just given a lift to literally every other business process that I have. So I definitely recommend you, you know, hop on and just go through this sometime in the next week or so if this is the first time you're hearing about it. Then the last thing you need to do is you need to post regularly on YouTube, Twitter, uh, maybe LinkedIn, I wouldn't recommend Facebook or Instagram. These just seem like vapid attention whore platforms to me, but LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter, these seem to have some type of like business adjacency. Um, the reason why you wanna post regularly is because you just need to like continuously show Google that you are a real person. And so part of the reason why I've been making videos every day 
uh, and I'm going to continue to post on Twitter and that sort of thing. In addition to the fact that I've just made a ton of connections and I think I have valuable things to say and I want to help people and all that stuff that's going to win me a presidential candidacy. Um, I want my Google Knowledge Profile to be strong and I want people to, you know, constantly, uh, I want that to be constantly updated with like the highest quality content that I can. And I think over the course of the next couple of years as I continue to do this, like my Google Knowledge Graph Profile isn't just going to look like this. It's going to have like YouTube videos. It's going to have like a bunch of photos of me like accepting accolades and all that sort of shit. So I want to get in that habit early. And that really doesn't take that much time. Unless your microphone breaks three times a day like mine did. Anyway, so yeah, make sure you're posting regularly. Maybe do like once a month or something to start. Just make sure you have some type of activity because Google, uh, you know, just needs as much like ability to distinguish you from a bot as humanly possible. Awesome. I hope that makes sense. I sourced this video from a random comment that somebody left me on Twitter like three or four weeks ago. So I'm very much looking for video ideas. I'm in the middle of this 30 day video challenge. If there's anything that you guys want me to cover that I haven't already touched on, just leave a comment below and maybe I can cover it in a future video. Or if you guys want me to do or talk about some other topic that maybe I haven't touched on, uh, you know, just, just drop a comment. And uh, if it lines up with what I want my channel to be about, then I'll absolutely record a video on it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers.